okay youtubers this is joe from artelian tv we're at Seoul 1146 here now there's lots and lots of artifacts in here in this set of images and it's a large set and we've got not only do we have background images which are quite good some of these at the bottom here have got background stuff in but we've also got foreground lots of foreground images and lots of artifacts some things that look like fossils and skulls and just weird artifacts lying around but th these are very poor quality images they have been quite badly uh, resized and compressed like I always say and I'll show you one here this is the plain JPEG as it comes now when you look at it like this it doesn't look too bad but as soon as you zoom in the, all the details gone absolutely ridiculous amount ridiculous even <laughs> amount of obfuscation going on here basically the, I'm sure this is deliberate. Uh, there's absolutely no need to compress these images that much because they're they're only two meg images to start with, so you, it's not like they take up much space. Uh, uh, but there was there was a lot of things in these images anyway, and I thought I'd try and show you them because even though the quality of the images is poor, you can still just about squeeze out enough detail with some of these things to um, to see uh, if you take the right steps. And this was one of them. Now. There's quite a lot of stuff to go through here, so I'm just going to quickly flick through these uh, things that I found uh, on here, and then I'll put them in at the end of the video like I normally do. And if I find anything else in this set of images, then I'll put that in as well. Uh, but I'll, I'll start straight away, so I don't want to take all day with this. Um, there is this thing here. I don't know if it's anything of significance at all, but I thought it was interesting. There's the enhanced version there. I've just cleaned it up a bit. Uh, real weird, long thing sticking out here on the, on the left here, and some interesting stuff going on in here. Could this be some kind of fossil? I don't know. Uh, it's probably a ventifact caused by erosion, but very weird indeed. Lots of detail in there. This is quite a large rock, this one. Uh, so you can see reasonable amount of detail, but this, this is just weird. Uh, this is just one of the, another one of those really weird things you see on Mars. I don't know what to even call that. <laughs> well, then I spotted this thing, which I thought looked a bit like an animal. Could well be. It's probably another ventifact, probably just an odd rock that's eroded and broken. There are loads of weird rocks in, in these images that look very odd indeed. Uh, they're all kind of broken up and, and smashed, as usual. Um, but this was weird. I thought it looked a bit like a creature. At, at a distance, I thought it looked like a, a little rabbit or something. But when you look at it more closely, it probably is just a rock with a weird kind of bit sticking out. But who knows? Uh, we're looking at an alien planet here. You really have to look at these things with an open mind, because there may be there may even be types of creatures there that that um, well, there was bound to be creatures there that we we have absolutely no idea about, which are completely alien to us, and we wouldn't recognise them. All we can really do is kind of look at things in the way that we would on Earth and say that looks a bit like a rabbit, this looks a bit like a, a dog or something, or a bird, or you know, there may be sort of hybrid creatures there that are completely different to ones that we're used to seeing down here. So if you see something that looks a bit like an animal, it may well be. I don't see why it shouldn't be. Um, uh, I don't think this is, but it is just weird and it, when you see it in the raw image I'll show you the raw image of it uh, where is it <laughs> if I can find it um, I think it's this one here uh, it's right at the back so you're not going to see a lot of details right at the top of the image up there now that the, the the bottom part of the image here is about eight around eight, eight feet away from the the, the camera the uh, but we don't know the level of zoom they've used here this could be real close but it could be quarter of a mile away half a mile away and this all zoomed in uh, but yes this thing's right at the back and you can see how grungy this is it's really grungy this image and like all this set the whole set is terrible and there's interesting stuff under some of these rocks some of it could be organic and uh, unfortunately there's not enough detail to actually tell what you're looking at it's really really uh, such a shame that they've destroyed I'd say at least 60% of the detail in these images uh, when there wasn't a great deal to start with. Um, so there we go. There was that. There was this thing, which is maybe nothing, but it looks like part of something. Uh, with a corner to it here. 
and the part sticking up. But this is also at the top of the image, so it's further back, and even when you enhance it, you can't really get a lot of detail out of it. Uh, it's right at the top of the image here, and uh, it, it just looked like something interesting. It's got a curve to the back here, and it's got a right angle here, and it's got a piece sticking up with a kind of, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> who knows what that is. Looks like something interesting. Could well be part of uh, some kind of stone building, or who knows? Who knows what that is? But it, it, to me, that doesn't look normal. It looks like part of something. It looks like it's been constructed. So, I mean, I could be wrong, of course. Uh, there was also this thing, which I thought was really weird. Now, this is another example of, of what may well just be a rock, but it could also be something else. Uh, it could be a skull. It could be some kind of fossilised uh, marine sort of uh, stuff, kind of just dried out and, and just left there over thousands of years. But I thought it looked like a skull. And when you look at it on the, in the enhanced version, I won't get too big because that won't actually help. Over-zooming doesn't help with these images. Uh, but it looks like an eye here and some teeth down here. And this looks like the back of the skull. I mean... I could be completely wrong here, I could be just seeing things here, but it does look weird. And there's lots of detail in here, but unfortunately we're losing a lot of it down to the the, the poor treatment of these images. Uh, but that was interesting. Not really sure about that at all. It's not really clear enough, but there do seem to be teeth down here, and that does look a bit like an eye. And there seems to be a, a black spot just where my hand icon is there. See that black spot? Just there. I'll do some more enhancements on some of these things. I'm not really sure about them. But there was this thing which I thought was interesting. Now, the rover has actually driven over a lot of this stuff. And this particular rock here um, was one bigger rock. And you can see it's split open. But what I, made, what, what I thought was really interesting about this is the, is the colour, the brightness of the interior of that rock where it's been split. Now, I'll show you the raw image, uh, the, the original image. I think it's this one. Uh, you can see, it's actually, in, uh, this appears in two images. It's on, it's on the right, uh, left-hand side of this one, sorry. Just there. And there's also this weird rock sticking up here, like a ventifact. Uh, but there's, there it is on that one, but it looks clearer on the other version, which I think may be this one, where it's on the other side, it's on this side, on the right. Because you can see where the, the actual tracks are. You can just about make out these tracks here. And they come down here. You can see the sort of V-shapes in, in the sand where the, the rover's just kind of driven across all this rubble and, and all these things. And it's driven over this rock. And this is the raw image, obviously. And that rock split open. And it's pure white inside. Now, bear in mind that this camera, uh, these cameras on the, uh, the mass cam, uh, the, the 35mm and the 100 especially have got lots of infrared filters on them now this looks like infrared information coming out of this rock not just light there's a lot of distortion around it that says to me that there's some heat coming from this rock now maybe it's just the, the sun has heated it up and who knows? Who knows? Uh, that maybe that could explain some of the extra distortion we're seeing in these images. Maybe it's quite hot. It does look. They do look bright, but but they usually do on Mars, uh, and even in the winter, that the there's uh, not a great deal of cloud, so these images are usually pretty bright, bright and sunny. But this, to me, looked like something interesting because of its not just because of this very bright part where it's split open. Uh, I mean, this could be chalk. This could be calcium carbonate. Now, if, if that's calcium carbonate in there, which would be very reflective, it's, it's white, uh, then that proves life on Mars because calcium carbonate is made out of billions and billions of dead sea creatures that have then formed a layer, a sedimentary layer, uh, which then kind of may turn to stone later on. It's, it never gets particularly hard uh, being chalk, but there you go. But the, the actual rock itself does look to me like it's got organics on it. Uh, this detail here, if you look at it, you can see some little kind of S shapes and almost worm-like structures in here. And to me, this looks like organics. 
uh, uh, maybe that these are types of coral that have been that were once growing on this rock, and this was all, of course, a lake bed. So that, that is a possibility. Um, uh, but it's really hard to squeeze out any real detail from this, and I'm sure this is exactly why these images have been so poorly treated, because they don't really want us to see any great detail. Uh, so there we go, that was that one, I thought that was interesting. And then there was this one, uh, which looks like a possible bird or reptile, who knows, uh, a, f a, f a skull. Now this is also an extremely poor quality images, image, uh, and it's near the back of the image again. So there's not a lot of detail here, but in this, this is the raw image, nothing done to this. You can see, well there's an eye socket here, and the beak here with a sort of point coming down and you can see the sort of line where the beak goes there but when you enhance it you can just about make out that that looks like a beak and a large eye socket is this a bird could be a bird skull I, I have found others other people have found them uh, you know if they had things like reptiles and lizards they probably had birds as well and being of low gravity uh, it, birds on Mars could have got extremely large indeed and uh, there, there's the same image brightened up again they could have got absolutely enormous and I did find a, a couple of years back when I first started I did find a bird skull if you look on my go back to my original early videos there's one called giant bird found on Mars or something uh, and uh, that skull is, is about six foot long uh, meaning that the, the actual bird, if it wasn't a flightless bird and actually flew, could have had a wingspan up to about 50 feet, which is extremely large, extremely large indeed. Uh, but that is possible on a, on a, on a planet that, that has much less gravity than Earth, about half the, the gravity that Earth has. But it is possible. So don't rule anything out. We still have to, are yet to establish many of these facts. And if the, enough people find these things, and they're clear enough. I mean, this that wasn't a very good example. I've got much better skulls than that, which are much clearer. Um, but there we go. I mean, uh, you know, this it may be a, a, a blurry sort of, not very much detail in this image, but, uh, you know, if you take a picture of a car and it's blurred, it's still a picture of a car, you know. If you take that picture and then, and then degrade it and compress it and, and muck around with it so that you lose a lot of the detail, it's still a picture of a car, and you can still determine that there is a car in that picture uh, by using a few techniques to clean up the image, um, even a low-quality image. And that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, but there are a lot of people out there who are over-zooming into these images, and even when you enhance them like this, I've, I've cleaned this one up. Um, if you zoom in too far, uh, you just can't actually see anything. It becomes too too vague and too blurred. Um, I mean, this has been cleaned up already, and I've got rid of a lot of that compression rubbish that they, they've got on these images, those blocks and, and lines. And uh, there's that rock again with the, with the bright, almost light coming out of it, which is extraordinary. Um, but you can see, you can see these structures here quite clearly. There's something going on here, and it doesn't look like normal rock. And there's another one over here, which is sort of along, on, along the same sort of plane which has got lots of green in it now I'm, I do wonder whether some of this stuff is organic and this is precisely why the, the rover has an orange filter is to hide the greens uh, using infrared and orange filters which they do would hide most of the green but some of the green is still coming through you can see some of it here and all I've done is add contrast to this image. I haven't added any green. I haven't done anything like that. Um, so there we go. There's a lot. There's a lot to see in these images, but unfortunately, the, the quality is low. So you will need to clean them up a bit. I've got some of them in here again, uh, but I've already shown you these. So I'll stick these in at the end of the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.